Everyone's still breathing. It's going to be a tense season. But the good news is I think we will all feel better when we see the face of Harvey Specter. So let's go ahead, bring out the man who plays him so brilliantly. Please welcome Gabriel Mott. Hello. 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 Do you see? Wow, look at, okay, look at these cameras. Lots of cameras. Again, like five, six Hello. rows deep in the back. Um, you've had a busy day. You started at Today Show. Did the historic first spit take on air at Today? I that, did. I yeah. did. <laughs> um, Apparently, it's the first. Yes. I can't believe that. It's 50 years that show's been on. And we do have water here, I'm just saying. So feel free. Um, but I'll tell you what I love. Apologize yeah. in advance. Right, to first row. Um, I love that that's the clip that we showed because I know from talking with creator Aaron Korsh that whenever the writer who sort of pitched the idea that these back six episodes of season five would be about fighting to get Mike free of these charges, Aaron was like, but we can't fight it. Like, we know he didn't do it. He didn't go to Harvard. And then basically what you heard Harvey say in that scene is what that writer then told Aaron. So I'm wondering, what was your reaction when you heard that this was going to be the way it was going to go down? Are you asking, <laughs> what was my reaction when I heard that he might be indicted? Right, yeah, right. Yes, because uh, that's kind of a big thing. Yeah, well, you know, look, the hook of our show is that he's a fake lawyer, and it's been a secret for a long time. I've always looked at this show as a it's a law show, and the hook is that he's a fake lawyer. <laughs> so I've just been waiting and waiting, I think like everybody else, for this to be outed. And I think what's great about the last five, six episodes, the one airing tonight being the first, is that Aaron is ready to bring this house of cards down, you know? Um, and, you know, Aaron likes to put himself in a corner, and I think that gives us a lot of challenges. Um, yeah, I mean, he's totally guilty. So <laughs> let's, let's see how these guys get out of this one. And um, I mean, I know what happens. <laughs> you want me to tell you? <laughs> it's just us, so I won't tell anybody else. Um, it's, it's, it's fun to see how the family of you know, the, the lawyers that are in the bunch, you know, the Jessicas and the Lewises and the Donnas and all of us have our loyalties to each other and the potential of turning on each other. Um, I, I think Harvey trusts these people implicitly, but the questions do arise. And I think what's also interesting is that we bring back a lot of the all-stars of all the recurring characters and you see characters coming back all the time so it's a lot of fun to see these characters come back and see who outs, who outs them, you know? Who's the rat? Who do you guys think it is? Well, you know, I wanted to take a poll, you guys. I don't know if you've seen that USA's website is now doing a poll who ratted him out. I wrote down the top three picks, which, again, may or may not actually be the person, but I thought we'd go ahead, raise hands in the room, see what they think. Okay, so the first pick is Claire. She's leading with 26% of the vote. Who here thinks that it was Claire? which is Troy and Belisario's character. No, we only got like one person. Okay. These are the real Suits fans down here. They know. Um, okay, the next one, you guys, get your grown ready. Trevor is uh, second place with 20%. Who thinks Trevor did it? Just, okay, we got a little more. A few Trevors out here, yeah. Okay, and the third pick was Rachel's mother, Laura Zane. She has 14%. I'm seeing a shaking of the hand, head, raising the hands. Okay. And I guess then the rest is other. That's everyone else. Harvey. Think Harvey did it. Bang! <laughs> That's the big twist. Oh, oh my God. I... <laughs> you know, is there any wild theory that you've heard? Because you've had five months, basically nearly five months since this episode aired to tonight. And I'm wondering, first of all, is that enough time for people to, to forget where the show ended so you haven't had fans harassing you? Or has it just been five straight months of people saying, who did it? What's going to happen next? Hey, listen to my theory. To me... Nobody, nobody, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, nobody on the street has been like, who did it, who did it, no, 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 no one, no, I, I, I think it's lucky me, I've been going under the radar. Uh, I guess online people are, you know, calling it out. Let, let me tell you this, okay. I don't know if you find out tonight, um, you may, you may find out next week, <laughs> you may find out the following week, uh, but I will tell you this, 
the person that outs him is connected to one of the six of us, and it's, vi or could be one of us, right? It, there's a very personal story here, and it was really well done on how Aaron and the writing crew um, got to this point. Uh, but, I will, I, but I will say this. We have a mock trial coming up, so that's going to be also, I think, good for the fans that people will see how we get to the point of how we represent ourselves to get out of this. At the end of the day, this state attorney, is she's coming after Mike for you know conspiracy to commit fraud, but she's also coming after Harvey. She's coming after Jessica and Lewis. She knows that we've all been doing shady things <laughs> along the way. And, and what's, what's great is that this house of cards looks like it's gonna fall down, so there's a lot of opportunities for stories. It's great. What can you say about Harvey and Jessica? I think this kind of situation always brings them closer together. They may butt heads on how to approach it. Are we going to see some great scenes between you and Gina Torres? There's a few, but you know, honestly, I think there's more um, Gina dealing with Lewis, uh, you know, uh, Jessica dealing with Lewis, and there's more of Harvey dealing with Mike and and how they're going to get it together. But you know, this state attorney goes after Donna and then following episode and you get a little flashback of some some you know stories between the harvey and donna which i don't know if people like that storyline um, that stuff's boring i don't know no no i didn't say i did not say that well, i was going to ask if the hana or the hana oh my god Hannah. Hannah, that's a new one. harvey okay, and Hannah. Harvey, the Hannah. The, harvey uh... made a trip aliyah to israel and Hanna well, are those fans going to be serviced, Ben, is what I'm asking. Like, sorry, they, I missed it. I was, what would you say? I'm sorry. Are those I, fans going to be serviced in the back six episodes? Will they have good For the scene? Harvey Donna stuff? Yeah, All yeah, that yeah. Spicy stuff? Um, <laughs> yish. Did you yes. see tonight's episode? I, ha I have seen the, the next two, yes. All right, so there's a little bit of the yeah. bit in there. Yeah. We might be talking about them tomorrow morning. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys all want them to so be together? Is that the deal? You want them to be together. Scotty. Scotty? Scotty did it. <laughs> I wouldn't put a past her. You know what? We are going to be taking questions from the audience sorry, later. Sorry, no, no, sorry. it's not that. But what I want to say is um, we did have one fan who couldn't be here tonight. And so uh, she went ahead and sent in her question. So let's go ahead and play that. Hi, Gabriel. Gina here. My question to you is, in a world without judgment or repercussions, Donna, Rachel, or Jessica? And I would like you to answer that as from Gabriel first, and you know, then from Harvey, I think. But let's go with Gabriel. That's what she meant. Obviously. <laughs> You're not going to answer Harvey. Professor Gerard. <laughs> um, obviously, there is going to be a lot of tension in these last six episodes. I will not give but her the dignity of answering I know. that question. <laughs> no, I, thought, I was going to just play the silent game until you gave me something, but I was like, I'm going to save them. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of seriousness in these last six episodes, but there is also a lot, of, you know, there's still some light stuff to suit. At least that fans like to talk about. I wanted to go there right now. Um, it's almost a little apropos with what you're wearing tonight. I always like it right when he wears the cardigan with the therapist, or any time Harvey dresses not in a suit, like when he's jogging, when he's boxing, maybe. I know, I had them put that up there. Yeah, I wanna know, first of all, Gabriel, um, how, like, was there a lot of discussion about picking that cardigan? I feel like there must have been. You know, there was a moment, and I get a little reactionary sometimes. Um, that's just my own stuff that I won't delve into tonight, but I was wearing a cardigan and I had a, bl I had a, I had nothing, uh, did I have, a, maybe I didn't have a t-shirt on, on. maybe I didn't have a t-shirt on, it was nothing under. And they were like, no, 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 we want you to wear the t-shirt, we want you to wear a t-shirt. And I was like, what, you, you don't know anything about fashion. And I was like, oh no, I just did that again. It was mean and reactive. And, I, and I'm not, normally I'm really not that guy. You can ask my family, some of them are here. Um, uh, there wasn't really a big 
No, there was no serious drama other than that little drama that I just <laughs> created. No, and I'll probably. Oh God, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna take my foot right <laughs> out of my mouth. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, let's go back to hopefully an easier topic. I didn't realize that was going to be so, you know, uh, heated, but... Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I do. So I just want to break out a couple of scenes that yes. I think a lot of people would love to hear about. Uh, Harvey punching Lewis. Great scene. You remember it, right? <laughs> the one in the outtakes? The, the, the oh, no, I don't know about that one. <laughs> no, just what, yeah, what do you remember about filming that scene with Rick Hoffman? I think that relationship, and you can applaud if you want, that's one we all like to see, right? We like to see Harvey and Lewis and the amazing evolution of that friendship. Not a lot of applause there, but I believe inside they felt it. Thank you. All right, so yeah, tell me about filming that scene. Uh, our friend Roger Cumble directed it. Um, we... We got in there. We were just, uh, you know, doing what we do. We work. We work really well off each other. We find a, a really nice rhythm. Um, I think we're both uh, really sensitive to what we do well and what we don't do well. And I think we collaborate well in saying, "Hey, maybe take it down a little bit here, or let's punch it up here." And we both do that. And a lot of us in the cast do that with each other. Um, in that moment. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We just had to f get on the wave and become aggressive and angry and, you know, all of that hurt. And, you know, we we're acting. <laughs> <laughs> I, am aware, we I am aware, sir. I am aware. We were schmacting. Um, yeah, no, I throw, him, I throw him and then he comes back up and he starts running at me and I throw him onto the coffee table. Is that what we're talking yeah, about? Yeah. yeah. So it was a it was sugar glass table. <laughs> Breakaway glass. Uh... Look, it was it was a very climactic moment as far as the storytelling is going on. It was very climactic. It was very um, cathartic for all of us to go there. Um, you know, there's been one massive fight I think in each season, and I think that was the one where, you know, we butt heads and we go there. And it didn't happen in the bathroom. They always seem to happen in the bathroom. That's true. What is it about that bathroom at the law firm? You'll have to ask Aaron <laughs> that. I have no idea. Uh, is there anything Everyone you Everyone gets hear? angry in the bathroom. I know. It's yeah. probably because <laughs> I won't even. No. <laughs> but is there some great uh, Lewis Harvey stuff coming up? Are we going to see those two? Uh, Lewis and Harvey? Lewis. <laughs> you know what? There's not much. Okay. I, I, I don't. There's not much in this back six. Okay. No, I think we really went to town <laughs> with each other in the <laughs> top ten. <laughs> <laughs> Am I speaking English? You I had three got, hours of sleep last night. I'm really <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, I'm you incoherent. And you mentioned flashbacks earlier. I'm wondering, do you have a favorite flashback that you've filmed? And if not, <laughs> is there one that you would like to film? You know, is there anything that you would there like was, to see? There's one that I want to film. Okay. I want to see what happened to Harvey just before he hired Mike. So in some of the first season, you know, there's, there's that scene where Harvey says, life is like this, I like this. He likes to live at that different level and that taking risks and all of that. You know, this back six really delves into the responsibility of these, that both these guys feel about offering Mike this job and, and Mike taking this job and what happens uh, to you emotionally during that period. There's so much guilt, I think, riding on them. And who is going to, who, if, if there's a question of being a sacrificial lamb, who's going to, who's going to step forward and do that? So I want to see what happened right before this kid walked into the office with the, you know, with the briefcase and and why did he offer him that gig? I know he sees himself in him. He sees his younger self. He sees that, you know, Mike is one of the brightest guys he's ever met. Um, but I think it would be really interesting to see, like, what went off the rails for Harvey that he made that decision. That would be a great flashback episode. Yeah. Have you pitched that to Aaron? I did. Yes? Okay. And? and then I tried to convince him that it was his <laughs> idea. <laughs> Um, 
I did also want to talk about fan encounters. Obviously, the show on for five seasons, one of USA's most popular shows. Obviously, very passionate fans. Again, they're still standing here as we keep talking, which is wonderful. Thank you all the way. Oh, by the way, thank you very much for watching the show, being here. It's, 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 we feel very blessed. Really, really blessed and appreciative that you guys here in New York, all over the world, there's... There's amazing, amazing fans of the show. I was going to ask you, I just saw you celebrate a birthday, January 22nd, and I saw on Twitter you were thanking people. I mean, they were sending you happy birthdays from Germany, Italy, the Philippines, Spain, Finland, South Africa, Ecuador, Brazil, Mexico. I could go on. Where is the, like, the place that you're most surprised that you've been recognized? Is there? Um, well, I was, in, uh, I was in Iceland a couple of years ago, and camping with my family and um, I went to this um, like AM, PM, you know, mini mar or whatever. And there was a kid who was like 14 years old and I walked by him and he was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I was I turned around, I was like, are you all right? You all right? What's going on? And he was like, are you, are you Harvey? <laughs> like, oh God, oh yeah, yeah, no, it's all right. It's okay, it's gonna be okay. Um, that was amazing. It was so, like, sweet. I mean, the guy, I almost knocked him on his ass just by walking by. Um, so I was in South Africa, and there were, there was, I was in sort of a tourist area, and there was this guy selling, um, selling helicopter rides. And he was like, rides for $50, rides for, hey, Harvey, Harvey, let's get a selfie. Come on over here, let's get a selfie. I was like, no, 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 I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to get through here. He's like, oh, we'll go in the back, we'll go, it's okay. Uh, uh, it's, it's wild, you know. The, someone told me that in India, 20 million people watch the show a week. That's huge, that's huge. Like I, NCIS numbers right there. It's huge, it's amazing. <laughs> You're like, that means nothing, continue. Um, <laughs> It, now, is it, is it dubbed in all those languages? And have you heard no, the it's Harvey? No, it's the English-speaking... Oh, okay. It's the number one rated English-speaking show in India. Okay. Granted, they have a billion people. I get it. I understand. But still, it's 20 million people. It's a lot of people. Um, uh, but no, worldwide, there's such fan appreciation. I mean, Russia, South America, every... I mean, Brazil, yeah, Australia, New Zealand. I mean, the Philippines, every... You know, it's incredible. So blessed, so blessed. Um, and I did want to talk about Harvey's office and his home as well. Five seasons in, do you find yourself wanting to add pieces to those sets and have you, or what would you like to add to each of them to make them, now that you know the characters so well? I'd like to add some cabinets in my office. <laughs> There's not one cabinet in there. There's no filing cabinet. Um, <laughs> It's all like digital. the Everything desk, like Donna's desk now. or whoever's desk outside. Uh, right, right. Um, but I, I kind of like that Harvey's n he never has a briefcase. He's never holding things on his way to court. And so we've, you know, <laughs> I'm not good with props. <laughs> and I don't know if, and you mentioned the mock trial. We've seen that those don't always end up well on this show. A lot of drama tends to come out there. Is that going to be, again, without spoiling too much, is that what we're looking at? this time as well. Yeah, this one is good. Um, I think I can tell you about this. Uh, so I believe that, Harvey believes that Harvey should be representing Mike in this case. Mike believes that he should be representing himself. We have a big fight about that. There's some conflict about that. Um, and so we decide to take it to a mock trial and say, all right, you think you can do it? Let's go head to head. So they, they go against each other. What comes out of it are some really not so nice, dirty maneuvers. And it reveals some things to the whole um, firm. And it gets, it's, it gets pretty sticky. But there's a reason for it all. And it's a, I think it's going to be a great episode. Patrick directed that episode. It's going to be great. I think it's so great. I mean, hearing you say that, I'm getting so excited. And that's what's so great about a show in its fifth season. I think we all, right, we all, like, that sounds like an incredible episode. What still excites you about the show five seasons in? Is it that you guys can do scenes like that that mean that much, the stakes that high? 
Yeah, I think that excites me. I think, you know, what excites me is, is being challenged by the material. And, and I'm always challenged by the material just because the writing is, it's, it's so well written and it's got a different uh, rhythm. Um, I get challenged, you know, like this, you know, season five, the first 10 episodes, I loved that Harvey was in therapy and dealing with his anxiety and dealing with the skeletons in his closet and dealing with his mo mother issues and all that stuff. And I, I felt that, you know, for, for a few seasons, nobody's really got inside of his armor, you know, and, and really broken him down. Um, so I was personally um, extremely challenged by that stuff, and it opened me up, and, and, and I think it, it's great for this type A, aggressive closer, this guy who's always about making the deal and, you know, being right and all of this stuff. To break him down and make him a little three more three dimensional, I, I thought it was that. Those are the those are the moments that I find to be great. I would like to see more humor in the in the show, but the stakes are the highest they've ever been, and it's very hard to throw in a lot of humor when the stakes are so big. Maybe next season there'll be room for a little bit more humor. We'll see. I think Aaron actually told me that he had to sort of remind the writers to take some jokes out because of what you're saying. Like it is that's not where their frame of mind is right now. He also told me, which I think is interesting, that when he was writing the season finale, he changed something the night before it was shot. Do you know? I'm not the, obviously don't tell us what that is, but do you know what that is? And was it a big change? Like, was it something that surprised you, the way something was going to go? It came from me. <laughs> um, no, it kind of did, and it kind of didn't. There was a major, major thing that happens in the final episode. Um, I. Thought it was a, I thought it was well done, the way it was written. And then I had a couple conversations with some of the women in the house. And they brought up some really great points. And I was like, that's the way it should be. Why isn't it like that? And so I went to Aaron. And I said, did you consider doing it like this? Maybe it should be, maybe we should rethink this. I know we don't ever do this at the last minute, but. And he said, let me think about it. And he went home and he rewrote it. And then he came back and he said, you know what? One of the writers told me I had already thought of doing that. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, so it was your idea. Great, OK, great. But, it was, but, it, but he did it, and he went for it, and it was, it was, it was ballsy, and I commend him for it. It's, it's going to be a great ending. Oh, that's great. Well, that is a great place to end our portion of the conversation. We're going to open it up to the audience now for Q&As. But first, we do actually have one more fan who couldn't make it to the Apple store tonight. Uh -oh. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, <laughs> play that question. Uh oh, <laughs> it's on. Hi, uh, Apple. Thank you so much for taking my question. Um, listen, I'm just having a hard time getting two partitioned hard drives to communicate with each other. So I was wondering if maybe you could lend a hand. Let me know if it's maybe like a firewall issue or, or this. But it's not for it's not for an Apple genius. Gabriel mocks? Oh. G Gabriel. Uh, Gabriel's not going to know anything about partitioning hard drives. Um, hey, bud. How's it going down there? Um, sorry about all that snow. It's, uh, it's pretty chilly here, too. Um, you know, I might, I might put on a light sweater in a little bit. Um, question for Gabriel. Um, I guess this would be a good one, considering uh, he's at an Apple store right now. Uh, who in the cast would you say that you'd go to every time you have even the smallest problem with uh, with an Apple device? You know, I, I don't want to throw the word genius around, but if I, if you had to, if you had to, you know, put a pin in it, say who is the genius that you would turn to in the cast? Um, that'd be a good question, maybe. <laughs> Who do you think it is? <laughs> Patrick is a genius. <laughs> he is an Apple genius. He knows the stuff. He demos Apple products. He, uh, he knows everything there is about Apple. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and open it up He's to my you tech guys genius. now. <laughs> Um, so I've 
obviously watched a lot of your interviews, and in a lot of them, um, you say that you're very different, that Harvey and Gabriel are very different. So what is the biggest, one biggest similarity between the character and you personally? What? <laughs> she said your good looks, if you couldn't hear that. You're very different. You're my cousin. That's, you can't <laughs> <laughs> um, she really is his cousin. Like they, she is, that's she is. true. Um, uh, maybe that. Yeah, I can't say that. You can say that. I can't say that. Um, our similarities. Uh, here, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I love my fans, and I love um, that people love this show. I will be honest. Fame does some crazy shit to you, okay? And in the last five years, my life has changed. And someone mentioned to me, um, you, don't think, you don't think you're as much as Har you don't like Harvey as you... You think you're less like Harvey than you think you are, right? And I started thinking about it, and I was like, when I come in contact with fans sometimes, I, on my own personal day when I'm walking down the street or walking my dog or taking my daughter to school or something like that, there's a little bit of Harvey that comes out in my boundaries. And I think I try to protect my family and protect that because that to me is, is it's sacred. It's sacred. Not to say that I don't love someone saying, hey, I love the show and it's great and all that stuff, but I think there's a little bit of a hardness, so if you ever see me as being hard with you, I apologize, but that's where the Harvey comes out. It's, but I, I'm very different. I think I'm very different from Harvey. As you can see, I'm such a friggin' goof. I, I can't <laughs> argue my way out of a bag. This guy, you know, he's put together and all that stuff. So I don't know if that answers your question. And let me say one more thing. Harvey focuses on closing the deal, and that is his priority. He is a, he is a winner he, at all costs. He is, you know, aggressive and all of that, and all of that. And he thinks it's important to, that business is more important than in, in anything in his personal life. I would much rather make it to my daughter's ballet recital than close a deal. So there's a difference between us. Hi, um, so I was wondering, uh, for season six, if you could have someone guest star on the show, who would it be? Gosh, these questions, I find them so difficult to answer. Um, I mean, you know, all the greats, I don't know if we'd ever get them. Uh, oh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Michael Jordan, that would be great. Um, Derek. Derek would be great. I'd love Reggie Jackson to walk down the hall. That would be fun. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, I would like to see some more athletes. Um, it's always fun to, to jump into that world and, you know. I'd love to see Jordan just come and do like an arc. I mean, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, as the show delves deeper into the background of Harvey, how has that changed your own personal portrayal of him? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm usually thinking about the laundry that I have to <laughs> send to the cleaners while I'm working. Um, I, I'll tell you this. In film, you, you have to, the character has to change within two and a half hours. Starts in one place, has to end up in another place. And that's something that I love about filmmaking, movies. In television, I didn't learn that until I started working on this show. And Aaron um, Korsh brought it to my attention. I got a phone call from the showrunner the first year, and she said, Gabriel, you're changing. You're, you're speeding things up. You want, you want this. You want that. You want this. We have to go incrementally. We have to make these changes very slowly. So we're lucky to have a series that has last now six years. I mean, knock on wood. How many series really last this long, right? So. I'm, I'm, I started looking at it like the first two years is the beginning, maybe three, four, and five is the middle, and we'll see how long we go, but maybe six, seven, and eight is gonna be the end. And that's how I see the arc. 
So you're going to see a very different Harvey from the first two seasons than you do now. And I think we've done that. And, and, and he gets deeper and deeper and deeper. And, and hopefully we'll see some changes in six, seven, and eight if we go that far. Do you want to go that far? If I can interject for one follow-up question. I know it's been renewed for season six. What are you thinking about the... We're the next NCIS. <laughs> In India. In India. <laughs> Call back. Very nice. I'd like to... You know, look, we're, we're, we're going to be here for the next couple of years. Mark my words. We're going to be here for the next couple of years. Hi. Hi. I was wondering what the best piece of acting advice your dad gave you was when you were starting out. Well, one of the best advice was advice that he got. <laughs> um, I don't think I've messed this story up, but I think Charlton Heston worked with my father a few times in a couple plays and, and um, in a film. And he said, to st my dad was getting all heady about something and asking, you know, talk, asking questions or whatever. And Charlton Heston said, Stephen, stand up and say the fucking lines. Stand up straight and say the lines. That, that was it. Um, so I love that piece of advice. Uh, I love that one. Um, what has he given me? He's, you know what? His advice has been, don't complicate things. Don't complicate things. And so, I think that goes a long way. Thank you. Um, we see a lot of abandonment issues going on now, like first with Scotty and Donna, and then now we're learning about your like backstory. Do you see Harvey turning to anyone out, like outside of his therapist? And if you don't, or if you don't know yet, um, who would you pick to do that? Oh God, I haven't thought about that in a while. <laughs> And I've been on hiatus, so all of this is like, what, what, Harvey? Yeah, he quit the firm, right, okay. Um, I, think, I think he'd go to Donna about it. Even though they're not working together, I still think he'd go to Donna because she's, she gets him, she understands him. Um, yeah, I think he'd go to her. Hi. Um, so I was wondering how um, you studied for the role. Did you study for the role at all? Like talking to like big law partners and, you know, before you... I went to Harvard for like three years. <laughs> uh, uh, did I study? I, I, I don't tend to do any research. I'm, no, yes, I did. I, I, my, my, I come from a family of lawyers. Uh, my aunt was a lawyer, my cousin, my sister, um, my grandfather, um, I took pieces from them. And I also um, really admire my agents and my past agents. And I saw Harvey is very similar to some of those guys. Um, as far as the, the research for the law, um, whenever there is a certain case that we're dealing with that I don't understand, I'll definitely jump in and you know, try and understand what the hell I'm saying because often I don't. As you can see, he look at me. How does he know what he's talking about? I don't. <laughs> um, but I know how to stand up straight and say my line. Um, <laughs> I am not a method actor, though, so I did not go to community or university law school. Graduate law, law school. I did not go to law school. Don't no, go. don't go. No. Oh, I'm total frog. I'm a total frog. Come on. But so are you. <laughs> Hi. Um, you're familiar with the suits page with all the culprits. I come across it every yeah, once in okay. a while. Well, first of all, Aaron did say in a Q and A that it is in one of the six main characters. So, if anyone did think it was Harvey or anyone. Um, he and did Scott, say that? He, he did say that during, a few months ago during a Q&A. Okay. And Scotty's already been clicked off, but he hasn't answered this question. Um, is the person who turned Mike in, are they actually pictured there? Or could it be someone who isn't even on that page? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are? Okay, I just yeah, want to... Yeah, they are. They are. Okay. They're, they're there, front oh, and center. 
Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a good one. Nobody got. Nobody's getting the. Nobody's getting this version. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Thank Again, the you. show Appreciate Wednesdays at Please 10. Please watch tonight. Here. Totally guilty. So let's let's see how these guys get out of this one. And um, I mean, I know what happens. You want me to tell you? It's just us. So I won't tell anybody else. Um, it's 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 fun to see how the family of you know, the, the lawyers that are in the bunch, you know, the Jessicas and the Lewises and the Donnas and all of us have our loyalties to each other and the potential of turning on each other. Um, I, I think Harvey trusts these people implicitly, but the questions do arise. And I think what's also interesting is that we bring back a lot of the all-stars of all the recurring characters and you see characters coming back all the time so it's a lot of fun to see these characters come back and see who outs who outs them, you know? Who's the rat? Who do you guys think it is? Well, you know, I wanted to take a poll, you guys. I don't know if you've seen that USA's website is now doing a poll who ratted him out. I wrote down the top three picks, which, again, may or may not actually be the person, but I thought we'd go ahead, raise hands in the room, see what they think. Okay, so the first pick is Claire. She's leading with 26% of the vote. Who here thinks that it was Claire? which is Troy and Belisario's character. No, we only got like one person. Okay. These are the real Suits fans down here. They know. Um, okay, the next one, you guys, get your grown ready. Trevor is uh, second place with 20%. Who thinks Trevor did it? Just, okay, we got a little more. A few Trevors out here, yeah. Okay, and the third pick was Rachel's mother, Laura Zane. She has 14%. I'm seeing a shaking of the hand, head, raising the hands. Okay. And I guess then the rest is other. That's everyone else's Harvey. thing. Harvey did it. Bang! <laughs> That's the big twist. Oh, oh my God. I... <laughs> you know, is there any wild theory that you've heard? Because you've had five months, basically nearly five months since this episode aired to tonight. And I'm wondering, first of all, is that enough time for people to, to forget where the show ended so you haven't had fans harassing you? Or has it just been five straight months of people saying, who did it? What's going to happen next? Hey, listen to my theory. That stuff's boring. I don't know. No, no, I didn't say. I did not say that. <laughs> well, I was going to ask if the Hana or the Hana. Oh my God, Hana. the Hana. That's a new Harvey one. And Hana. Harvey and Hana. Harvey uh... made a trip, Aliyah, to Israel, and Hana. Well, are the, those fans going to be serviced? Then is what I'm asking. Like, sorry, they... <laughs> I missed. I was. What would you? Say? I'm sorry. Are those I... fans going to be serviced in the back six episodes? Will they have good? For the scene? Harvey Donna stuff. Yeah, All yeah, that yeah. Spicy yeah. stuff. Um, <laughs> Yish. Did you see tonight's episode? I, ha I have seen the, the next two, yes. All right, so there's a little bit of the yeah. bit in there. Yeah. We might be talking about them tomorrow morning. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys all want them to be together? Is that the deal? Yes. You want them to be together. Scotty. Scotty? Scotty did it. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past her. You know what, we are going to be taking questions from the audience sorry, later. Sorry, no, no, sorry. it's not that. But what I want to say is um, we did have one fan who couldn't be here tonight. And so uh, she went ahead and sent in her question. So let's go ahead and play that. Hi, Gabriel. Gina here. My question to you is, in a world without judgment or repercussions, Donna, Rachel, or Jessica, I would like you to answer that as from Gabriel first, and you know, then from Harvey, I think. But let's go with Gabriel. That's what she meant. Obviously. <laughs> You're not going to answer, Harvey. <laughs> Professor Gerard. <laughs> Um, obviously, there is going to be a lot of tension in these last six episodes. I will not give her the dignity of answering I know, that question. That's what I, thought. I was going to just play the silent game until you gave me something, but I was like, I'm going to save them. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a lot of seriousness in these last six episodes, but there is also a lot, of, you know, there's still some light stuff to suit, so at least that fans like to talk about. I wanted to go there right now. Um, it's almost a little apropos with what you're wearing tonight. I always like it right when he wears the cardigan with the therapist, or anytime Harvey dresses not in a suit, like when he's jogging, when he's boxing, maybe. 
I know I had them put that up there. Yeah, I want to know first of all, Gabriel. Um, how like was there a lot of discussion about picking that cardigan? I feel like there must have been. You know, there was a moment, and I get a little reactionary sometimes. Um, that's just my own stuff that I won't delve into tonight. But <laughs> I was wearing a cardigan, and I had a bl I had a I had nothing. Did I have? An Maybe I, didn't have a t -shirt on? On. Maybe I didn't have a T-shirt on. It was nothing under. And they were like, no, 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 we want you to wear the T-shirt. We want you to wear a T-shirt. And I was like, what? You, you don't know anything about fashion. And I was like, oh, no, I just did that again. It was mean and reactive. And, I, and I'm not, normally, I'm really not that guy. You can ask my family. Some of them are here. Um, uh, there wasn't really a big, no, there was no serious drama other than that little drama that I just created? No. And I'll probably, oh God, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to take my <laughs> foot right out of my mouth. Uh, okay, well, let's go back to hopefully an easier topic. I didn't realize that was going to be so, you know, uh, heated, but. Um... <laughs> Sorry. <I'm laughs> no, I do. So I just want to break out a couple of scenes that yes. I think a lot of people would love to hear about. Uh, Harvey punching Lewis. Great scene. You remember it, right? <laughs> The one in the outtakes? The, the, the oh, no, I don't know about that one. <laughs> no, just what, yeah, what do you remember about filming that scene with Rick Hoffman? I think that relationship, and you can applaud if you want, that's one we all like to see, right? We like to see Harvey and Lewis and the amazing evolution of that friendship. Not a lot of applause there, but I believe inside they felt it. Thank you. All right, so yeah, tell me about filming that scene. Uh, our friend Roger Crumble directed it. Um, we... We got in there. We were just, uh, you know, doing what we do. We work. We work really well off each other. We find a, a really nice rhythm. Um, I think we're both. Uh, to me, nobody, <laughs> nobody. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Nobody on the street has been like, "Who did it? Who did it?" No, 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 no one. No, I've. I, I think it's lucky me. I've been going under the radar. Uh, I guess online people are, you know, calling it out. Let, let me tell you this. Okay. I don't know if you find out tonight. Um, you may. You may find out next week. <laughs> you may find out the following week. Uh, but I will tell you this. The person that outs him is connected to one of the six of us, and it's vi or could be one of us, right? It, there's a very personal story here, and it was really well done on how Aaron and the writing crew um, got to this point. Uh, but, I will, I, but I will say this. We have a mock trial coming up, so that's going to be also, I think, good for the fans that people will see how we get to the point of how we represent ourselves to get out of this. At the end of the day, this state attorney is she's coming after Mike for, you know, conspiracy to commit fraud, but she's also coming after Harvey. She's coming after Jessica and Lewis. She knows that we've all been doing shady things along the way. And, and what's, what's great is that this house of cards looks like it's going to fall down. So there's a lot of opportunities for stories. It's great. What can you say about Harvey and Jessica? I think this kind of situation always brings them closer together. They may butt heads on how to approach it? Are we going to see some great scenes between you and Gina Torres? There's a few, but you know, honestly, I think there's more um, Gina dealing with Lewis, uh, you know, uh, Jessica dealing with Lewis, and there's more of Harvey dealing with Mike and, and how they're going to get it together. But, you know, this state attorney goes after Donna in the following episode, and you get a little flashback of some, some you know, stories between the Harvey and Donna, which I don't know if people like that storyline. <laughs> um. Everyone's still breathing. It's going to be a tense season. But the good news is I think we will all feel better when we see the face of Harvey Specter. So let's go ahead, bring out the man who plays him so brilliantly. Please welcome Gabriel Mott. Okay, look at these cameras. Lots of Again, cameras. like five, six Hello. rows deep in the back. Um, you've had a busy day. You started at Today Show. Did the historic first spit take on air at Today? I that, did. I yeah. did. 
Um, Apparently, it's the first, yes. I can't believe that. It's 50 years that show's been on. And we do have water here, I'm just saying, so feel free. Um, but I'll tell you what, I love... Apologize we, in advance. Right, you first row. Um, I love that that's the clip that we showed, because I know from talking with creator Aaron Korsh that whenever the writer who sort of pitched the idea that these back six episodes of season five would be about fighting to get Mike free of these charges, Aaron was like, but we can't fight it. Like, we know he didn't do it. He didn't go to Harvard. And then basically what you heard Harvey say in that scene is what that writer then told Aaron. So I'm wondering, what was your reaction when you heard that this was going to be the way it was going to go down? Are you asking, <laughs> what was my reaction when I heard that he might be indicted? Right, yeah, right. Yes, because uh, that's kind of a big thing. Yeah, well, you know, look, the hook of our show is that he's a fake lawyer, and it's been a secret for a long time. I've always looked at this show as a it's a law show, and the hook is that he's a fake lawyer. <laughs> so I've just been waiting and waiting, I think like everybody else, for this to be outed. And I think what's great about the last five, six episodes, the one airing tonight being the first, is that Aaron is ready to bring this house of cards down, you know? Um, and, you know, Aaron likes to put himself in a corner, and I think that gives us a lot of challenges. Um, yeah, I mean, he's...